Hey church, Pastor Gary here, coming with this week in Rock Hall. I just want to thank all of you who are able to come to church this weekend and uh, be a part of worship service. Uh, it was a great Sunday. We started a new message series uh, we call it The Firm Foundation. Uh, we began it, there's so much going on in the life of our church and our charge and, and our denomination right now. We felt like it was important that we zero in on what are the, the core beliefs, what are the what are the bedrock values that we have? What are the what are the firm what's the firm foundation that our churches stand on? Uh, and so over the next several weeks, we're going to be looking at some, some uh, a series of specific Christian doctrines that, that we as a as a charge, we as a church here in Rock Hall, uh, really hang on to, really hang our hat on, and how those doctrines might be applied in our lives. This week we looked at the first one, which is kind of the, 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 the foundational one of the firm foundations, right? The, the, the basic one is God's Word, uh, the Holy Scriptures. Uh, what are they? How do they come about? Uh, how can we rely on them? All that sort of thing. And what we talked about was that um, God's Word has power. Uh, the Scriptures have power, but the key to releasing that power is, is you and I. So we're the key to that power being effective in our world. And what it requires of us in order to affect God's Word to have power in our lives and in our world is first we have to read it. We have to spend time in God's word. Secondly, we have to believe it. We have to we have to accept what God says as his authoritative word. And then third, we have to act on it. We have to act on it. And one of those ways that we act on it is we, we have to declare it to ourselves, right? Like Jesus said, nothing's impossible with faith. You can even tell that mountain to move, right? But with faith. So we need to stand before our mountains and declare God's promises. Uh, the things that, that are going on in our world, we need to we need to dig for Scripture. What is God saying about our situation? And we need to declare that uh, over our family, over our uh, relationships, over our businesses, our fam our homes, our churches. Uh, so uh, read it, believe it, and act on it. Amen. This week uh, coming up. Uh, the, the last Sunday here in April, we're going to have a combined service. We usually on the fifth Sundays, we have combined worship services. They're no different this month. Uh, we're going to gather together at Rock Hall Church under the tent uh, for a combined worship service at 1030 on Sunday. Uh, Sunday, May 30th, or April 30th, I'm sorry. We'll be gathering for worship together under the tent. If it's bad weather, if it's super cold, we're, we will move inside. There's no point in being miserable. But uh, hopefully the weather will be nice. And then after church, the youth group is having a soup sale. So you'll have a chance to, to buy some soup and support the kids. They're, they're planning to take a trip up to Sight and Sound and see uh, Moses, I believe. Um, so it'd be a great chance to support them and, and uh, let them let, let the leaders and the, the kids serve you for lunch on Sunday. And then the last thing I have for you today is on May the 6th at 1 o'clock, we have a special charge conference for Rock Hall Church in Wesley Chapel. My dogs are... I'm seriously upset because Michelle's Bible study is coming over. Uh, but anyway, on May the 6th at 1 o'clock, we have a uh, special charge conference for Rock Hall Church and Wesley Chapel to vote on the disaffiliation. So uh, if you're a member of Rock Hall or Wesley, I really encourage you to, uh, to don't miss that date. Make, make your calendar, like rearrange some things so you can be available uh, because you can only vote if you're there. It's important that all our members vote. So. You will be getting uh, contacted by the charge office just to make sure you're aware. Uh, and we'll be in touch with everybody. All right. That's all I got for today. Again, my name's Gary Pretty. It's an honor to be your pastor. And I can't wait to see what God is going to go be doing through you. All right. God bless you. Have a great day.